here it is an e46 shaped bmw 3 series coupe it's a 2003 model 325 ci m sport auto to give it its full its full name the car's finished in imola red which has to be one of the very best e46 3 series colors i'd rate it alongside sapphire black and esteril blue which was a very um a very rare color on on one of these cars there you go 325 ci uh, this is a facelift model the cars went through a facelift in 2003 so you get different lights i'll show you around the front in a second but at the rear you get these um uh, th these sort of led type lights with the small little um circular light diodes and they really help to modernise the car if you see this. In fact, I'll do, uh, I'll put, uh, because I've got a pre-facelift E46 in the collection as well, I'll post up a video soon of the two of them side by side and you'll be able to see all the different features between a pre and a, and a post-facelift car. But um, as I say, this one's an M Sport as well, so it's got the sportier body kit, the deeper sills that you can see there. Um, the bumpers are different and the wheels are different. These wheels are what's called an MV2, they're 18 inch wheels, they're staggered so they're wider at the back, running 255, 35, 18 tyres, the fronts I'll show you in a minute, they're, they're narrower, but they really help to give the car a nice purposeful stance and these side sills, these deeper side sills really set the car off as well. The front wheels run 225 tyres, this all the curbing on this one this one was curved yesterday not not by myself i hasten to add but yeah that's been yeah that's been well and truly mullered need to do something with that so 225 40 18 tires on the uh, front versus the 255 35 18 on the back one of the things if you're ever looking at e46 everyone will tell you rusty arches rusty arches rusty arches our arches are good. The back, the rear driver's side arch has one tiny spot of rust, but that's literally it, which is super good for one of these cars. Um, well, I'll show you a video in the future of uh, if you want to get the wheels off, you'll be able to see inside the wheel arches. And there, that's, that's the front of the facelift car. Um, much, uh, much more aggressive than a, than a pre-facelift car. Lights on ours have been upgraded to um, HIDs. The standard halogen lights on one of these are like candles at night. They're absolutely rubbish. So you either need a car with Xenons or ideally upgrade to the um, uh, upgrade to the HIDs. Plenty of packages available for those. As you uh, can see, I've spent an awful lot of time preparing the interior for this video. I so totally didn't take this video with five minutes notice and just grabbed the keys and thought, let's, uh, let's shoot something. Uh, sports seats, this is an M Sports. You've got the sports seats with the deeper bolsters, um, leather trim, black leather. In this case, they also did silver and beige, black being the most popular. Mileage of this one at the minute, 104,000. We got the car on 81,000, if I remember correctly, around three years ago. It might even be four, actually. Three and a half, four years ago. So we've, done, we've used the car. Um, it would have been used more were it not for lockdown. Um, the car sat really for the best part of a year and a half. Apart from that, we've really used it mainly for motorway mileage and to go to the supermarket at weekends. Our particular example benefits, if you want to call it that, from the GPS sat-nav. It is so dated, um, you really wouldn't want to uh, use it. Instead, we just use a Garmin stroke TomTom. -tom. Uh, one feature our car does have, and I would recommend this on any 46 that you buy, heated seats. They're amazing, three-stage heaters on a cold winter's day just to put the heated seats on. Um, massive improvement. There's a bit of centre storage which we fitted and the eagle-eyed amongst you may note that we've got a, um, a difference in the interior trim. I've put the high gloss black piano trim uh, on the dashboard. The door cards, door handles still have the original black cube aluminium trim. Only reason for that is that to put the aluminium trim on 
uh, or replace the door handles from the aluminium trim to the high gloss black. Remi uh, it involves removing the door cards, which I really don't fancy doing, but we'll get round to at some point. And here's the heart of the car, the legendary six cylinder, inline six cylinder um, engine from BMW. Possibly, or highly regarded as one of the best engines BMW ever made. They can do intergalactic miles, smooth, powerful. They're also very fuel efficient. We regularly get between 35 and sort of 39 to the gallon on a motorway run. Yeah, what a pretty car. I, I, I've got to say, this has to be BMW at its best. I, the, the shape and the proportions, particularly of a facelifted E46 M Sport Coupe, are just spectacular. It's, it's such a classy looking shape and still relatively modern. You can drive this car anywhere and people still look, people still um, appreciate the shape. The E90, E92 shape, uh, three series afterwards with the sort of bangle flame servicing actually a very nice car in its in, in its own but not quite as elegant as the e46 i think this and the e39 shape five series are really prime bmw bmw at its its very very best yeah what a fabulous shape So there you go, there's a walk round video of our daily driver, an E46 BMW 3 Series Coupe. It's a fantastic car to look at, a fantastic car to drive. In fact, one of the videos coming soon will be a driving's impression um, video, so I'll let you know what the car's actually like to drive. And in the meanwhile, thank you for watching this video and I look forward to bringing you future videos on this car and other cars in the Collecting Modern Classic Car Stable very soon. Thank you for watching.